Welcome back to Guitar Ace. This is week 206, day two. And we'll start with a battle today. See where that gets us. Okay, uh, not bad. Altena. Flyer formation with Catria Ball. Um, so, Claude. Gotta deal with this guy. He's. Um, there is. Yeah, there are traps right here. So. Hmm. Mm, can A3 one shot Claude? Well, they have far seven years save, so. Far save and near save. Because, no, actually, no near save, just far save. Yeah, because who doesn't run for save nowadays? Um, how fast is A3? 30 speed. Okay, so she's fast enough to double him. So, on turn one, I'll have to move over here, Dancer. Go after Hector, Canto away, and then reposition. And I have to shut down their Catria, which this team cannot do. Only something like this can shut down Catria. But the problem with this team is, of course, Legendary Claude has no follow-up, so it's just gonna take forever just to kill him. Sixty. Hmm. I don't know if your might might not be fast enough to double him. The good thing is Elamine does allow us to deal with Catria Balls. Hmm. Hmm. That would probably be other going over here to break this and getting dance. So either this team or this team. Are there any catapults? There is, but we don't lose our we don't lose our um, fence. All right, so move a tree here, dancer, go after, go to hit plot or um, to hit actor, canto away, reposition. And then after that we'll we'll see. I might actually just go over to test to hit this trap so I can reposition and then double reposition. Just so I don't have that trap right there getting in my way all the time. Of course this does all count on me being able to one shot uh, I mean one round Hector. Which I do think A3 can. I wonder. With ease. <sighs> Alright, so. Does this hit. Yeah, I think it does. 
So yeah, I kind of had a feeling that that was going to be the real trap, which is why I wanted to get rid of it. Alright, so next up... We can get rid of Claw the exact same way we just did. Except this time we can leave Marth in to begin tanking. That's logical. So let's do the same thing we just did. Why not? I'll consider it. Get rid of Claw. And hmm, kind of where do I want each? They don't. They don't have any more range units. So Marv can move three spaces this turn because I literally just checked. So he can move one, two, three where A3 is. So with this, at least A3 will be able to support supply the um. The rain skill. That's fine, we don't really care about the boss. I mean, we'll get panic, but... But do I want to get panic or do I want to not get panic? Technically, I don't want to get panic. Right. So, I won't get panic. I'm with you. We're giving the anti-panic effect. Together. Put him here. Again, no range units. They will submit. Oh. Alright. Katri out of the way. Edelgar out of the way. Alright, um, Mira cannot reach. Well, both of them cannot reach at the same time, so... That's fine. That's Get rid of Altina. Of Altena. Here a lot of noise is... Because... My dog Kiwi, which lives... Right next to me. I seek a foe. Wants to play right now. Yeah. I see. All right. I'll consider it. Ether. Oh, I'll do it. I won't lose. And ether. You Brutal shell does. Does some damage. To the end. And that's it. This time we don't have to avoid Mirabilis. Together. Right. They will submit. I'm with you. All right. We are done. So yeah, we deal with we deal with their Catria ball and everything just by literally sniping their Hector and their Claude.
right, we got two defense replays to play. Uh, success was the one that counted, so we still haven't lost anything. We got another Yuri today, but first Hinoka. Pyro Hinoka, plus three, reposition attack speed solo. Brave Bylef, plus one, plus three, reposition, HP attack two. Regan, HP attack two, reposition, plus one, plus three. Plumeria, plus three flowers, Phantom Res, Mumbo. Plus three, plus three summoners for the Yuri. Luna, Flashing Blade, no follow up, time falls, and attack speed two. It's rare to see um, one without um, uh, Disabled Trap. And finally, Held Up, which is their bonus unit, reposition. Luna Velocity uh, HP at the HP Speed 2. Really weird that they're using the HP seals. Can be too new player if you have uh, all your buildings that high. So they tap Marth. They don't have a fence, so. Here, had they done this on turn two, Marv would have reached, but this is the annoying part. Like, it's supposed to be Marv moving forward so he can get dance, but Ninian just teleported all the way to the other side. Alright, take up Veronica. And get lucky that Aetri didn't kill you. I don't think her weapon was active because she wasn't solo, so... That's pretty much the biggest weakness of Aetri on defense. She can hit pretty hard and it's pretty good to have her, but... Because she needs to be solo, a lot of the times... She just fails to meet the weapon's condition. So take a leaf. And they left Hilda to tank. Which she does have damage reduction. He is fast enough to avoid getting double. But finish of Yuri with Rasir. And then Ninia just goes off and finishes the job. Very close, so 35 to 36, so. And that's two units lost right there. And then this one we got um, a more boring kind of fight. Elamine, Drive Attack, Regan, Attack Tactics, Reposition, Plumeria, Double Tactics, Death Rest, Wings of Mercy, Mumbo, uh, Plus 14 Flowers, Brave Edogar, Reposition, Bonfire, Attack Defense, Bond, Attack Defense Form, Near Save, Plus 1, Plus 20, Someone is Supported, Swap, Aegis, Hardy Fighter, Attack, Rest, Fire, Safety, Flag, Magic, Brave Hector, and their bonus unit, Thor, Reposition, Gale Force, Airbags. Um, kind of weird to see a Gale Force Thor on a team that is just a Sable, but... But it's just... Far Save, Near Save, and Four Mythics.
So, just set up their sable. Start with Hector, which this Hector is of course not gonna kill anything because yeah, with a uh, hardified Aegis, it just doesn't hit hard enough to kill anything. Minion is able to get it in there. And then, yeah, again, getting Atri's weapon to be active is kind of annoying. On the other hand, Edelgar has bonfire, so she is able to easily kill pretty much anything with plus 40 defense. So take out Ninian. They kind of have to because what she's. This is gonna be annoying. So Tris here goes in. And yeah, I mean, we're not gonna get through Aegis and uh, Elamine. Even Veronica, which is designed to hit pretty hard. But again, Hector not killing anything. Which is quite useful, they do have Thor right there in the front line, so... And this, I'm not sure what this was. We fight together. And then Zeros, which again, plus 31 defense on this Edelgar. So 79 goes to what? 79 goes to 71 because of the 40 damage reduction. So that doesn't <laughs> help me do the math. I don't think so. And then Hector just finish off. So yeah, that was that. Save ball. I mean. What are you gonna do? Uh, don't think we have anything to summon since we still have what? We still have about two minutes till the day switch is over. So, I still have not uh, summoned my free. Still debating whether I want air or grima. There aren't that many units that I will need to, uh, that I have to give uh, Grima's weapon to. In air, the problem with Merging's air hurt is that she gains more HP, so it makes it harder to keep her miracle, to be able to recycle her miracle. So, yeah, that's the only thing. Meanwhile, let's see how you guys are doing on day two. Got plenty of you who play more games. Got Yakiomi, Eva, Logan, Kitsune, Mad, Michael, Neosourceman, Promise, 
Bravelet's Dark Cluster, Dogs, Oron, Silver Amethyst, Allen, Alright, it should already be the next day. So we'll see if there's anything to summon on. Uh, we got the four heroes with Luna. Um, we'll go red just because there's two. And if not, no red. Okay, so there's red. I already have Malice. I don't think I have uh, Gaius. But we get Tarja. Alright. And that is it for today. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.